Happy Tuesday, 92 family. Uh, Pastor Bill here with our emphasis on our grow root at home, being in the Word of God, the joy that comes out of being in the Word of God every day at home. Now today, I'd like to read to you again from John's Gospel, John chapter 8, Jesus' rescue of an adulterous woman. But before I do that, I just got to share this with you. I've been over in my office, uh, staying safer at home, working from home, and right outside my window in the gutter, uh, a robin has built a nest. And this is a number of weeks ago. Uh, I took a look. Uh, I didn't touch it. My wife said, don't touch it because the scent, you know, will scare away the mom, uh, which I, I don't think that's true. I looked it up on Google online and it said it's not true. So anyway, uh, but uh, I'm going to show you the nest and give some thoughts about just God and being an everyday life. Uh, some first article truths of the Apostles' Creed. So if you look right out my window here, and maybe you, you probably have some of these somewhere. Uh, a robin's nest. Again, three eggs have now hatched. There's three little birdlings in there. And uh, the robins will come back and feed. Well, in fact, their robin is right now. I don't know. I didn't plan that. But feeding, uh, it's little birdlings. Now, some people will say, wow, you know, being out in nature, I feel the closest to God. Uh, he communes with me. I, I get why people say that. Because you can see God's handiwork just all over the place. But you know something? Nature isn't the place where God really communes with us. Uh, yeah, he's there, but he's not necessarily there for you. I mean, as beautiful as that nest is with that mama bird, I could have easily looked out this morning and found a baby bird on the ground falling from the nest. Uh, this world is still a sin-broken place, and God's providential care is there uh, and yet, because of our sin, it's withdrawn at times. So where is it? Where's the best place to commune with God? It's not in nature. It's what we're doing in the home. Every Tuesday, every day, God willing, when we sit down and we read the word of God, when we actually hear him give us so many beautiful promises. And that's what we're going to do today is see God be a God of grace and promise. Now, let's take a look. John chapter 8, uh, verse 2 and following. At dawn, he, that would be Jesus, appeared again in the temple courts, where all the people gathered around him, and he sat down to teach them. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group and said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. In the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now what do you say? They were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him. But Jesus went down and started to write on the ground with his finger. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, If any one of you is without sin, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. At this, those who heard began to go away one at a time, the older ones first, until Jesus was left with the woman still standing there. Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and leave your life of sin. All right, four questions for you to consider. Uh, what would you get out of that text? Even more than you could ever find in nature. Number two, um, Where's the sin at? And then finally, uh, three, where's the grace? As you think about those things for your personal devotion, I'll finally conclude with a prayer. What did you get to apply from this text in your life? God's blessings on your day. And uh, we'll wrap up with another hymn, hymn from our, our good friends from Koine, a chief of sinners though I be. Sinners though I be, Jesus shed his blood for me, died that I might live on high, live 
believes that I might never die As the branches to the vine I'm his and he is mine Oh, the height of Jesus' love Higher than the heavens above Deeper than the depths of sea as eternity Love that found me wondrous thought Found me when I saw him not Only Jesus can impart Comfort to a wounded heart Peace that flows from sin forgive Joy that lifts the soul to hell Faith and hope to walk with God In the way that He not trod Chief of sinners though I be Christ is all in all to me All my wants to Him are known all my sorrows are His own Safe with Him in earthly strife I await the heavenly light Strengthen me, O gracious Lord By Your Spirit and Your Word When my wayward heart went stray While I live